Hey you guys, it's Peter. And I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Beast. Did you think I was going somewhere? I'm YouTube famous now. Available in 2010. The album. Dad. AF. All right, let's get right in this video, shall we? Today, we're gonna talk about David Dobrik. I haven't talked about David Dobrik on my channel in quite some time. But we're also gonna talk about Olivia Jade and Lori Laughlin and all that good stuff. Ding ling ling, shamalang nang, ding dong, ding. How's the drama drama phone? This is Peter speaking. Oh, hi, Jane. How are you? No, I'm just sitting here uh, having a gimlet and I'm going through my envelope of coupons. Yeah, well, I'm looking for um, Boardwalk and Park Place on the McDonald's. A monopoly board because then you see you like win a lot of money. Uh-huh. Well, no, I'm trying to get my grandson into Princeton. I offered $500,000, uh, but they said instead they would like to have Boardwalk and Park Place from the McDonald's uh, Monopoly board. You have them, Jane? What do I have to do to get them? I'll do whatever. Whatever. Well, not that, Jane. So anyway, let's get right into this video, shall we? So if you don't know, what you don't know is a lot about Olivia Jade and Lori Laughlin. Go watch my videos that I did about them. I think I've done two videos about them already, and I'm going to continue to do updates on this because this story to me is just baffling. So anyway, uh, Lori Laughlin, Aunt Becky on Full House and Fuller House, supposedly, allegedly paid $500,000 to get her daughters into U, uh, uh, USC, University of Southern California. And this has now been a huge deal. Uh, the guy that orchestrated this whole thing, he um, was implicated in this as well as 48 other people. Felicity Huffman is part of this because apparently she hired a uh, proctor, like a private proctor for her child's SATs and then was like, uh, not A, not A, no, it's B. <laughs> so anyway, helping... These people have no faith in their kids whatsoever, right? Absolutely no faith in their kids that their kids might have learned something in high school. And if not, if they have to pay that amount of money to get their child in high school, it's really, really scary to see what they were doing in college. So um, I do know that Olivia Jade's sister has come out and said that she wanted to continue her much-earned education at USC. And as much as I really feel for the girl, apparently she's wanting to stay there. She must be doing okay. So if she's doing okay at USC, it makes you wonder if maybe she could have got in on her own and they wouldn't have had to pay $500,000. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? But anyway, I'm sure those of you out there that busted your ass in high school, got great SAT scores, got really good grades, worked two jobs, missed Friday and Saturday nights with your friends, were on all kinds of committees in high school, and played sports just to find out you didn't get into the college of your choice, don't have a lot of sympathy for Olivia Jade or her sister. Neither do I. But, you know, a lot of people have come out and said that maybe Olivia Jade didn't know what was going on, you know, and that her sister had no idea what was going on. And I don't know, maybe Lori Laughlin, her mom, was like, hey, th that's a beautiful rowing machine. Can you go put on these professional college rowing costumes and Maybe sit on the machine and let's just take a picture for the hell of it. Why not? You know? So I don't know because they're, you know, that's how they got her in with saying that she was a rower. Row this. Okay. So anyway, now YouTuber David Dobrik has come out in support of Olivia Jade because everybody knows that Olivia Jade has been associated with the vlog squad of David Dobrik and that they're friends and all this kind of stuff. So of course, why wouldn't he support his friend? But he comes out on this. Um, at the exact same time that David Dobrik wins the Kids' Choice Social Star Award, which is very interesting to me, first of all, okay, that David Dobrik won the Kids' Choice Awards. The Kids' Choice Awards, okay? Not the streamies, not any of that kind of stuff. The Kids' Choice Awards, right? So kids, you know, are watching David Dobrik, who's doing all of these pranks and their jokes are very, very adult and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And this is who they're watching for humor. Now, I didn't know who the other nominees were, and so I pulled it up, and what was interesting to me was um, that when you go on her, the nominees for the Kids' Choice Social Star Award, and I honestly, I thought, because I had seen Tana Mojo tweet something out about some award she was up for, so I thought, it's going to be like David Dobrik, Tana Mojo, Emma Chamberlain, she is one of them, and then I thought like Jason, uh, Jason, James Charles, and you know, like somebody like that. I thought it was going to be those kind of people, you know, that like have a huge younger audience. No, 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 It was interesting. David Dobrik, Guava Juice, 
Colleen Ballinger, who, when you watch Colleen Ballinger's videos, um, especially like in association with Miranda Sings, I mean, she, it, it's very like family friendly, right? Okay. And then um, Ryan Toys Review, which is the highest paid YouTuber out there. I did a whole video on it last year on the highest paid YouTubers. And Ryan's Toy Review is the highest paid um, kids channel or YouTuber out there, but he's also a kids channel. And basically it's this little kid that reviews toys, right? I looked at my sister-in-law who apparently does not love, I mean, she has no hatred in her heart, obviously, but she doesn't love the fact that my nephew watches every one of Ryan's Toys Reviews. You know why? Because then he wants every single one of these toys, which Ryan is probably getting sent and paid large amounts of money in sponsorships to open it and go, oh my God, a cabbage patch doll. And then every kid in the world has to have it, right? Can you even imagine getting paid for that? Come on now. So anyway, <laughs> no, I mix the beans at Taco Bell. I really can't relate. So anyway, you know, I mean, it's a pretty good gig, but it's a kid's channel, right? So, and I think Guava Juice is too. So it's interesting to me that that would be like, you know, I mean, I may be completely wrong. You probably are like, y'all have never seen Guava Juice. Guava Juice is adult humor all the way. So if it is, I'm wrong and who'd care? I've never heard of them, so they don't matter to me anyway. Next, okay? But then Emma Chamberlain on there, but even Emma Chamberlain, you know, she's kind of a little bit like getting into the tan mojo spectrum a little bit but she got a lot of kids watching her videos when she first started so that makes sense to me and then the last one is Lily Singh and if you know about Lily Singh she just got the new nighttime show gig I can't remember who she's replacing um but congratulations to you Lily Singh I think that's fantastic and I was actually wondering when that was going to happen that you know like these late night talk shows like back in the day Johnny Carson David Letterman I don't even know who Jimmy Kimmel I think she's replacing Jimmy Kimmel and um you know like I thought it would be like a David Dobrik or not David Dobrik Whew. that's what your video is about Peter I thought it would be um you know like a Philip DeFranco I honest to God thought he would be somebody that would replace it but Lily Singh I think is fantastic for that so congratulations to her as being like this new crossover star onto television I think that's great but here you see like all of these people that are somewhat, and her videos are somewhat, they're humorous and whatever, but they're still even a little adult, you know? You have all these videos out there for kids, and then David Dobrik is the one that wins the Kids' Choice Awards. Have you seen that David Dobrik video, okay? Their jokes are not kid appropriate. They just aren't, okay? And on YouTube, in a world that we're living in where videos are being demonetized because of comments <clears throat> that could possibly affect children, and then the Kids' Choice Awards... You know, our channels are getting taken down as well. And then the Kids Choice Awards awards David Dobrik for adult humor as social star. The kids, I, I'm so baffled by this, right? Okay, but let's go into what the article said about all this because all these articles came out um, and uh, about David Dobrik uh, supporting Olivia Jade. So fellow YouTuber reaches out to Olivia Jade after Lori Loughlin's arrest and college admission scandals. And this was on Fox News. <laughs> Not my favorite, but that's okay. They're, you know, somewhat times a good source. Olivia Jade has at least one supporter amid her and her mother Lori Loughlin's alleged roles in a massive nationwide college admission scandal, fellow YouTube star David Dobrik. Well, she has a lot of supporters. Her channel's growing on a daily basis. Now, she does have enough tact that she had a pre-filmed video of her doing like a uh, clothing haul before she went on vacation at the same time that her mother was getting arrested for this cheating scandal that got her into college. Nice move, Olivia. That shows where your priorities are. But anyway, she put up this video and she's getting a lot of views off of it, even though some people are saying it's whatever. But I have to tell you, her channel is growing at leaps and bounds. And it was funny because I got this comment on one of my videos about it. And it was like, yeah, she's gaining subscribers because hot guys like me are starting to follow her. And I was like, oh, okay, is that what this is about? So anyway, Olivia Jade has at least one supporter amid her and her mother, Lori Loughlin's alleged roles in a massive nationwide college admission scandal. Fellow YouTube star David Dobrik. Olivia is a strong girl and she's a smart girl, so she'll be good, Dobrik22 told Us Weekly at the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards on Saturday. We're definitely all checking in with her. She's a smart girl, that one. She's a smart cookie. She sure is $500,000 for admissions. If she was that smart, she would have just got the grades and the SAT scores to get into this school, okay? And she wouldn't sit there and play dumb like she had no clue this was going on. I do not for one second believe that Olivia Jade had no clue this was going on. 
Do I think that she was a little young in this whole thing? And out of fairness, do I say that, you know, at 17 years old, that she probably had 18 years old, that she wasn't, like, great at decision-making? Sure, I give that to her. I think that's completely a fair notion, right? Do I think she's fully responsible for this? No, I think Lori Laughlin is and her dad. She's the one that put the money, they're the ones that put the money up. They're the ones that calculated this thing. I think that they're the ones that are responsible for it. Do I think that Olivia Jade sitting in her college saying she didn't even want to be at college and having all these sponsorships knowing that her parents paid for her education to get her in? Yeah, I think that's kind of shady, you know? I mean, to come out and say, like, yeah, I knew this was going on, but what kid wouldn't take take this opportunity? I feel horrible about it. I, I feel horrible that I took somebody's spot. Like, I never thought of it that way at the time, but now I totally see it, and yeah, it's BS, and I wish I hadn't done it because I didn't even want to go to college in the first place. That would be a video, you know what I mean? Maybe not a haul video. Uh, Vlog Squad member Dobrik added, who knows, I'm going to catch myself in some stupid stuff later, and hopefully I'll have a good support system too. And I think that is true, you know what I mean? We all catch ourselves in stupid stuff. We all do. You know what I mean? And so you want to have a good support system around you. Laughlin 54 and Olivia Jade's fashion designer father, Mosimo Gianalo, were each arrested last month and released on a $1 million bond. The couple are accused of agreeing to pay $500,000 in bribes to have daughters Olivia Jade, 19, and Isabella, 20, admitted to the University of Southern California as recruits for the college crew team, despite neither participating in the sport. Olivia Jade's blessing of famous Paris education. Olivia Jade has lost endorsement deals from Sephora, Trace M., uh, is it Trace? I thought it was Trace Song. Trace Song, Princess Polly, and Estee Lauder following the scandal. Uh, she's since left USC, which she allegedly never wanted to attend in the first place, and reportedly is humiliated and furious with her parents over the scandal. You ruined my life! Can I have a Cartier Love bracelet? She has been passionate about her career and wanted to work and was doing well, but that wasn't enough, an insider previously revealed. Her parents said she would uh, have to juggle college in her career. Now she's devastated because everything she built and Bill imploded her before her eyes. She feels they ruined everything. Um, they're up, uh, John Newley and Laughlin are scheduled to appear in court on April 3rd. What's interesting to me about this is um, that, where is this? I want to get her age correct. Uh, Olivia Jade is 19 years old, you know? We see this whole world on YouTube. This is where I start questioning some of the stuff, right? We see this whole world on YouTube where all of these YouTubers, you know, like uh, Jake Paul, they move out to LA when they're very, very young and they make these careers for themselves. Olivia Jade has almost 2 million subscribers on YouTube. I did the math the other day. She's making $400,000 a year, probably double or tripling that in sponsorships. So she's probably making one to two, three million dollars a year already at 18, 19 years old. Are you telling me that your parents that are sitting at home saying you're going to go to college, that she couldn't just walk away and say, no, I'm not. And we'll get over this at some point because she felt so forced to go into, I'm not buying it. I'm really not. And I really think there's a lot behind the scenes that probably people were saying, you'll be more relatable as a college student. If you're in college at USC, more people will be relate will relate to you on YouTube because you're this college girl that's got this you know opportunity to do these sponsorships. So I think that that plays into it too, right? Because she's wanting to get that audience. Because I'm sure that a huge part of Olivia, Olivia Jade's audience is college students that have watched her, right? So if she's in college and they're in college, it's relatable. I understand she didn't want to go to college, okay? Who would if you have all of that following? But you know, and then her parents were like, well, you got to have something to fall back on. So I guess we got to pay to get you into college. So I don't know. Anyway, it's interesting to me that David Dobrik has supported this, right? It's like, I understand you having a support system, but you just came out and won a Kids' Choice Awards, right? And um, that's saying a lot for how people look at you. What I don't understand in our society today is that can we not, like, support a friend, but also say, like, yeah, this is probably BS. Like, hey, I'll support Olivia Jade all the way. Like, she's my friend. I care about her, and I want her to have a good support system around her. That being said, like, yeah, I have said something to her about the fact that maybe this shouldn't have happened. I have, I, I have no problem, you know, going to friends of mine, and they have no problem coming to me and saying, hey, have you thought about, like, how this looks or what you're doing or whatever, you know? And I, I feel very blessed that in the 46 years of my life, I've had some fantastic friends that have said that to me. And have also been open to me saying it back to them as well. And I've said this many times on my channel, a code between my best friend and I is.
that a really good friend will tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And I hope behind the scenes, David Dobrik is looking at her and saying, Olivia, I will always be here for you. I will support you no matter what. But sweetie, this is not a great look, okay? Like, you did some things that maybe you need to get in a video and talk about and address and deal with. You know, like, wh what's going on here? You know what I mean? So, and I think that's where we can be good friends to people. Now, in an interesting little side note, the cast of Fuller House, hold on, I just pulled up the hats that I'm ordering. Um, the cast of Fuller House also had some things to say. This, this is from the Washington Post. The speech by Lori Loughlin's Fuller House co-stars at the Kids' Choice Awards was a masterful PR move. And if you know anything about Peter Mon's channel over here, we love a masterful PR move. By the way, James Charles yesterday, he did a little deal where he sent out $250. Well, it's got to be $500 gift cards, but then he changed it because he wanted to send them out more. So he sent out gift cards to all of these people um, that follow him because he wants to be more interactive with his fans and all that kind of stuff. And this is on the heels of... I might talk about that in another video. So anyway, but I did think that that was interesting that James, you know, came out and did all these gift cards. I think it's very, very nice. And I think that's him kind of like trying to, you know, he, he took some ads off of his video and now he's trying to send out gift cards and all that kind of stuff. I mean, we love a good PR move over here. I, I do, you know. I, I, I think to also learn from your mistakes because I'm a big believer that we all fall on our face. And when we do, we have to learn to get back up. But we also have to learn about what got us down there to begin with and hopefully become a better person. That's what I try to do on a daily basis. I look at all the screw-ups in my life I've made, and trust me, there are many. And I try to learn from them and say, I don't want to be this person anymore. Who do I want to be going forward? And how can I learn from the screw-ups that I've made? So anyway, uh, ever since Lori Laughlin's indictment two weeks ago when she was charged along with nearly 50 other people for allegedly participating in a college admission bribery scam, her Fuller House co-stars have understandably stayed quiet. The day after the news broke, John Stamos offered no comment to TMZ. Jodie Sweetin also declined to... Oh, did she love that Jodie Sweetin back in the day? Wasn't she the middle girl? Okay. Uh, through the, she noted she seemed even more upset than John on his late night show. Jimmy Kimmel didn't even bother asking Bob Saget about his thoughts. Why is no... Why is nobody asking Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen? Prune. Those girls are literally, like, they are so far beyond Game of Thrones at this point. They are just lost in, like, a Game of Thrones, homeless off the streets of New York, in, like, Celine, you know, kind of fashion madness at this point. Prune. Do you think they just sit in their house and they just go? <laughs> Why is nobody asking them? Oh, are they on making one of those movies, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen go to Rio? Okay. You ought to make Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen go to court with Aunt Becky is what you should make. Okay. However, the cast apparently decided to address the shocking scandal this past week at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards in Los Angeles. It was, frankly, a brief but masterful lesson in public relations, and it was... Things started when the cast from the Netflix show picked up the prize for favorite funny TV show. <laughs> I think the show's stupid, okay? And everybody stood up and it talked about them. Thank you for voting Fuller House as your favorite funny TV show, Barbara told the cheering crowd. You have been laughing alongside our family for four seasons. And this family has a lot of heart. And, and where there's a lot of heart, there's a lot of love, Bureau continued. She added a point and message. And a loving family sticks together no matter what. They stick together through the hard times. They support each other. They encourage one another. They pray for each other. And they stand by their side no matter how tough it gets. And a loving family that sticks together also celebrates the really good times together. And this is one of the good times, Sweet and Piped Up. Thank you guys so much. You have stuck with us for 30 years, and we love you all. We promise the fifth and final season is going to be amazing. So they managed to, it says, one, obliquely reference the scandal. Sorry, hard times in a controlled environment at the uh, Kids' Choice Awards, which is aimed at an audience... So there likely wouldn't be any tough follow-up questions. Two, earn a ton of headlines. USA Today, Floor House cast after Lori Laughlin College Scandal, A Leveling Family Sticks Together. That's not a very good clip title. I don't know what I titled this video, but I can tell you it'd be better than that. Three, have a plausible de deniability. After all, they never said Laughlin's name. Who would? Who'd care? She's fired from the show. Four, look like kind and supportive people. That kind of goodwill can't be underestimated. Five, plug the fact that Floor House will soon return for a fifth and final season. Who'd care? Okay. I'm still over the fact that they didn't ask Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Don't. This ain't my first time at the rodeo. <laughs> They're probably like, who? Aunt Becky? Was she on that show? We don't know. Hello? Can I speak to Aunt Becky, please? 
from the Pasadena Correctional Facility. She's calling Collette. I'll take the call. <laughs> Anyway, it's all of it kind of so just like crazy and sad and all this stuff to me And there's all these people that are affected by it, but at the end of the day Everybody's gonna get over it. Okay. It's not the worst thing that's ever gonna happen You know, I was listening to this thing last night Some podcasts and they were talking about it on there and they were speculating like if you know Lori Loughlin will go to prison No, Lori Loughlin's not gonna go to prison for this She's gonna pay some huge fine probably and then you know She'll probably get I mean some ungodly amount of community service and whatever I still think that all these boobs should have to go work at the Taco Bell for like 10 hours a day. They ought to know how real people have to make money. And they have to, they should be forced to have to go get college educations and apply. And if they can't get their college, they can't get college educations the old fashioned way by applying to it and doing what the rest of us have to do, then they'll have to go to community college and work their way up like the rest of us do until they can do it. I think they should have to learn some lessons because I am a believer that we don't learn unless we go through this stuff. I really, really believe that. And you know, maybe Olivia Jade and her sister really are just pawns in this whole thing. I understand that. But you know, the whole thing is just like, I mean, it's just baffling, isn't it? I'd be real interested to know what your thoughts are on this and what do you think about David Dobrik and the Full House, Fuller House family supporting all of this? Kind of indirectly saying we still care about these people, which why would you, would you not, you know? I mean, and the other thing is I'm sure David Dobrik and the Fuller House family behind the scenes have seen money do a lot worse. So, you know... There's a lot of scandals out there in the world. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.